What is going on guys, Product Seek here, back with another video. Now, I've taken a look at a few different action cameras before on the channel, and today we are going to be taking a look at another action camera. This is the ODVRM 1080p Wi-Fi action camera. It's a pretty nice action camera that comes with a ton of accessories, and it only cost about $60 on Amazon. So let's go ahead, get started, and take a look at it. So like I said guys, the price for it right now is about $60 on Amazon, and with that you do get a ton of different stuff in the package. So the first thing they include inside the package is a travel case. Now this is actually something that I really like, not a lot of action camera companies give out cases with their cameras, so it's definitely just a little cherry on top and it's going to make it more worth your money. Now when you first open it up, the presentation is pretty nice, there are a ton of different accessories and they're all wrapped in their own individual little plastic bag. But anyways, on the right side of the case, of course, we have our camera. We'll look at that a little bit later. But following that, we have a regular housing, which has tripod screws on it. We have a bike mount, a few different other random mounts. And last, we have a battery. Now, this does come with two batteries, and the other battery is inside the camera already. Now, moving on to the left side of the case, we have a charging cable. We have an extra back door for the camera, some adhesive bases, some tie downs, a microfiber cleaning cloth, and last, we have just a few more adhesive bases. Now, the camera itself is actually pretty nice. It's made of plastic, but it does have a nice, rugged, and solid design. On the front, we have our mode button along with our 170-degree wide-angle camera lens. Moving on to the right side, we have all of our ports. First off, we have our mini HDMI, then we have a micro USB and a micro SD card slot. Moving on to the back, we have a 2.5-inch LCD screen. On the bottom, we have our battery door, and that houses a 900 milliamp battery. And then last, on the left side, we have our navigation buttons. These will help you navigate through the menu, and the top button also is used to access our Wi-Fi mode. Now speaking of modes, the camera does have quite a few of them. The first mode is video mode, and in video mode, you can record up to 1080p video at 30 frames a second. Along with that, you can do 720p at 60 frames a second, or 30 frames a second. And then there's also some lower resolution options as well. Second mode is photo mode, and in here, you can take up to 12 megapixel photos. And if you want to zoom, you can use the navigation buttons on the left side of the camera. The third mode allows you to see all the photos and videos that you've already taken. And the fourth mode is settings. Now in settings, you have all the things that you would have on any other professional camera. You can adjust the white balance, the exposure, and all types of other stuff as well. And in here, there's also a lot of subset modes that you can enable as well. For example, one mode is time-lapse mode, so you can do time-lapse video. Another subset would be burst photo mode. And just as a third example, you can also put a timer before you take a photo. Now the last mode on the list is Wi-Fi mode, and in order to use this, you do need to download the app. The app is called Z Cam. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. But Wi-Fi mode allows you to see what your camera is seeing on your phone. And usually there is about a five to four second delay between your camera and your phone. Now the delay isn't too bad, but I have seen other Wi-Fi action cameras that have a little bit of a less delay. Overall though guys, I would definitely recommend this camera. It's super cheap, but it's super high quality. And along with that, it also comes with a ton of accessories, and it's just overall a great deal and all around a great camera. Now for the rest of the video, I'm just going to be showing some video clips that I took with the camera, so you'll be able to see what the video looks like, and you'll also be able to see what the audio on the camera sounds like. So I'll go ahead and transition over to those clips right now. Alright guys, so what you're hearing and seeing right now is the audio and video from the action camera. And as you can probably tell, the audio on here is not that great, but it's honestly not that great on really any of the inexpensive action cameras, and even the GoPro audio isn't that great either. But like I said, this is an audio and video test, so I'm just going to go around and do a few different things to give you an idea of what it's going to sound and look like.
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. The link to the product will be down in the description below, but make sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos. On this channel, we make all sorts of reviews on technology, gadgets, and really anything else that seems interesting. So like I said, make sure to subscribe for that. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.